This week got off to an interesting start, Michigan, Michigan State week. On Monday, Jim Harbaugh at his press conference was asked about the trash talk from the past. And, and well, here's the exchange with a reporter. Um, in the past, players in this rivalry have fanned the flames on both sides. Is there any directive from you, don't say things like that, keep it close to the best, or you just say, let it go? I think we could all use a break from the, the cliches that have been plowed so thoroughly on both sides. On Tuesday, Mark D'Antonio, similar question about the last three years and maybe it, it, it not being quite as bitter. Here, here's the exchange. Mark, you mentioned the last three games in this rivalry specifically that they were clean, better sportsmanship. What do you attribute that to? Well, I think Coach Harbaugh does a great job. I think that I think he's all about that. I think he tries to play the game like it's like it's supposed to be played, and I think he respects the football game. I think he respects the game, the general game of football. And uh, we do the same at our place, and um, I think it permeates down through the players. I hope that's the case. On Wednesday, Harbaugh was asked to follow up on this and respecting the game and the rivalry and all that with Jamie and Stoney, and here's what he said. Yeah, I have, I have uh, a, a uh, deep, abiding respect for the game of football um, and, and love for it. And uh, this is a big game. It's, it's always been a big game, is a big game, and uh, always going to be a big game. So, Gator, at this point, damn it, we are reduced to having a bitter, bitter debate over who respects the game and the other one more. Mark D'Antonio, does he respect Jim Harbaugh more than Jim Harbaugh respects Mark D'Antonio Let's fight about it. <laughs> um, no, in all seriousness, look, they, the, the coaches are setting an interesting tone here, and the players have kind of followed suit. I think Michigan's media availability ended last night. I don't think you'll hear from them anymore. Michigan State's media availability, only thing they have left, I believe, is... Thursday's coaches show at Reno's East yes, <laughs> and and they'll have the player availability there unless they don't bring players this week so but the, no player has said anything remotely inflammatory this week nope the question is do the fans prefer the trash talk do the fans not like the sort of civil approach, the civil tone taken by the head coaches this week. I like trash. Well, I don't know if I like trash talk. Here's what I like. I like passion coming from a player. If a player from either side says, when they're asked about the rivalry, say, yeah, this game means a lot. I can't stand those guys uh, on the other side. I mean, the, they're, the fan base, the student body, everything about it, it, it annoys the hell out of me. Uh, I want to beat them in the worst way. There's nothing wrong with saying something like that. And that's, that speaks to the passion that you have as a football player and about this rivalry and about how much you want to win. I, I think you can cross that line and get into something, something that's, that's, you know, if you start calling out people and specific players and you're taking shots at them, then that's, that's different. I don't like taking shots. I like speaking about the fire inside of you as a player. That doesn't bother me at all. So I, I liked it when the Michigan players said earlier that they, they don't like Michigan State. I think that's fine. Say that all you want because you shouldn't. And I like when the Michigan State players said yesterday, they're like, yeah, uh, we don't like Michigan. We, this, is one of the, this is the reason why you come to Michigan State because you want to win games like this. Great. I think, I think that, that part of it, if, if, if you want to call that respectful, and I think it is respectful. It's respectful to the game because it shows your passion, and it's respectful to your opponent without taking shots at him. I, I like the way that it's going, but I know <laughs> fans are different. Yep. You know, and maybe it's because I'm, I, I've become much more objective doing this job over the last, you know, however many years, but fans are different. You and I both have friends on both sides of it, mm -hmm. Michigan state fan friends and Michigan friends. And you start getting to like, Facebook, and you see people starting to post stuff about it, poking the dragon, trolling each other, 
you know, the trash talk is really, I think it's really more for fans than it is for players. Well, there's a couple things here. First of all, this week does feel like it's just about the football. And that's really all that I personally need. Okay. And same thing with Ohio State week when I'm getting ready for Michigan, Ohio State. I just, I also think that these are young people. Some people don't like calling them kids. I call them kids. I mean, I'm, it's just, these are people in their late teens and early 20s that I don't think they realize that if you say something particularly insulting about the other side, the impact it has on people and sort of beyond the football part of it. And so I don't, I don't like when either kid, either team has a kid from either side say something, I'm always like, ooh, because I know that there are going to be, in this day and age, bitter, bitter social media response to that, which, and, and sometimes obviously when you're, when you're in the stadium itself, uh, I hearken back to the original Mike Hart, and I remember <laughs> your immediate wake. I'd gotten to know Mike a little bit, interviewing him a whole bunch, and I, rem- <laughs> I remember your response to it, and I said, okay, this is why I don't like this, because he's not that kid. Like, he's a fiery competitor, but I, he's not a kid that I would describe that way. <laughs> and it, And yet I can understand why you or anybody else felt that way, well, and, I've come to love Mike Hart, and I thank Mike Hart every time Michigan and Michigan State play because he restoked that fire and totally put a new focus in Michigan State, and it started with the head coach. When D'Antonio heard those remarks, the little brother remarks, everything changed. I mean, the coach was hell-bent on making sure his team was going to be prepared every year to face Michigan, and since those remarks, 8-2. and two. Yeah, I mean, but you really well, don't you, love you, but you really don't love Mike Hart. No, I, mean, I can't stand as, Mike Hart. Yeah, and that and I res- so- here's what I do. I respect Mike Hart for being one hell of a college football player because he was. He was a difference maker. He was awesome for Michigan. When he opened up his mouth, do I think it, it crossed the line? Eh, maybe a little bit, but as a fan, I want to embrace the hatred too. I want to be part of the whole thing that that is this rivalry. So you do like it. You do like the trash talk. Well, I I initially do I want it now? I don't want it now. Like I said, now I just want passion from both sides because we've been in this. We needed that spark way back when. Maybe Michigan needs a spark now. But back then, Michigan State needed the spark, and they got it from Mike Hart. I guess, but back to my point. My point is, I don't think the kids at that age realize how impactful their words can be and how the backlash can be really, really bad. And so I, I always bristle when a kid says something. Um, but maybe the fans like the trash talk and wish it came back. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven.